About nine months ago, Spiral Knights got its newest update, introducing the vault stages, including a new sword, the 5 star 1 million, a worthless trinket, and a few other bug fixes. What a cool update. However, the only important change in the update wasn't even announced. The Breach the Vault update introduced the largest difficulty affecting change Spiral Knights has ever seen. It was a buff to Shadow Lair enemies. Maybe buffed isn't the right word. They were given such a difficulty increase that we thought for it to be a bug. It also affected the enemies in the mission It Came From Below. And this is what got Greyhaven's attention. As in the next update, alongside a few new fixes and additions to vaults, It Came From Below was fixed. But they also mentioned that the Shadow Lairs will continue to be difficult. So if the change was intended, how bad really is the change? Shadow Lair enemies are programmed to scale to the deepest depth available. Before the update, this was depth 30, or tier 3 end. When the update came out, the deepest depth for enemies to scale to was increased to stratum 8, aka depth 40, aka tier 4 end. When enemies scale this far ahead of the player, they gain some insane stats. As a comparison, before, the most an enemy's health could be scaled to was to the end of tier 3, or 1080 as base health. In the new Shadow Lairs, the base health is doubled to 2160. So, enemies have double the health than before, but that's not all. Take a look at enemy defense too. Again, double as much as it was before. If a Carnivon took 6 mixer shots to kill before, it takes 25 now. It gets worse. Enemies' base damage was increased from 360 to 550, which is a 1.5 times increase to the base. Enemies hit so hard that even with the correct defense, you're looking at tanking a maximum 2 to 3 hits before you die. Look at this maxed Grey Owl Light Shield. It dies in one hit from this Rocket Puppy Rocket. Or this Plate Shield that dies in one hit from this Polyp Shot. As for the player, you're stuck to scaling to the end of Tier 4. You can think of it as a knight, scaled to depth 5, with a depth 5 vitapod and usables, fighting enemies that are scaled to depth 20. Oh yeah, and at depth 40, we should be getting better health capsules and vitapods that boost by 36 to 39 pips. For the average player, these missions have gone from requiring 2 to 3 sparks to around 20 minimum, I assume. It's insanely hard if you don't know exactly what you're doing. Now, the difficulty, while completely unfair to newer players, isn't what makes the more skilled part of the community upset with the change. The increase in health and damage enemies deal forces you to adapt with new loadouts and strategies, which is awesome. The part that's annoying and strange about this change is how the loot to time and difficulty ratio wasn't touched. For example, if you look at the farthest loot is allowed to scale to, it's depth 30, which is how far Shadow Lair scaled prior. Let's take Darkfire Vanaduke for instance. Before the update, DFV took me to around 1 hour to solo, but after the update, it takes around 2 hours for no increased reward. It's double the time for no reward. 2 hours of constant and much harder gameplay for what? Nothing. Lots of friends and I ran DFV every few days for a few months leading up to the update, and all the friends no longer want to run it due to just how boring it is. Grey Havens, on purpose, killed their endgame for a large amount of players and are fine with it. In Spiral Knights, the basic formula of time plus difficulty equals reward has been used when difficulty has ever been changed or added. For instance, Elite difficulty makes runs harder and longer, but it increases the reward, so it follows the formula. The deeper you get into the arcade, the tankier the enemies, but the loot increases, again following the formula. Even the initial release post for Shadow Lairs back in 2012 acknowledged that, due to the lairs being hard, the reward was increased. The new Shadow Lairs introduce THE hardest and most time consuming missions the game has ever seen, and do not touch the loot in the slightest, breaking the formula. The lairs can take twice as long, and are way harder, and do not have any increased rewards. Why was this ever thought to be added to the game? I don't know. It's silly, but the change to Shadow Lairs is not only by far the biggest change of the Breach the Vault update, despite it not being included in the patch notes, but it's by far the biggest change Spiral Knights has seen since the Gunner update, and again, it wasn't even announced. 
We haven't gotten a single reason as to why it happened from Grey Havens, despite it being almost a year since the new Shadow Lair's introduction. Now, there are people who enjoy the increased difficulty. The problem isn't necessarily the difficulty, but like I said, how loot was an increase in compensation. Therefore, a straight reversion of the change isn't necessary, but I do have a few ideas as to how this change could be turned from being unhealthy to healthy for the game. This is probably the most straightforward one I can think of, but just simply fixing the equation I mentioned earlier would fix the problem. Adding loot scaling to the end of tier 4 would fix this, and I don't know why it didn't happen on release of the new layers. Shadow Lair armor sets are just memes, with some of them being the worst in the game. Fun fact, Elmerian Crusader is the single worst armor set in the game. Arcane Salamander makes no sense with its stats, kind of blows my mind. Why is Elmerian Crusader weak to fire when Ice Queen isn't? Oh my god, these things are awful. But yeah, a redesign of these things would make layers more enticing. For plenty of players who enjoyed these dungeons previously, this update has killed it for them. It's not fun to hit the same enemies for longer with no increased reward. The original Shadow Lairs were creative in their increase of difficulty, using enemy placement, new statuses, and stage layouts to keep players on their toes. This difficulty increase is... lazy. Anyhow, have any of you tried running the new Shadow Lairs since the Breach the Vault update? How would you like to see them fixed? Hopefully we can see something happen soon, cause oh boy is this bad.